Deficit, recommend, <laughs> deficit commission recommendations fall in line with Republicans' demands to cut government spending and waste, but nearly a quarter of the recommendations to raise revenue are in the form of new or expanded taxes. That's not going to go down so well. Illinois Republican Congressman Aaron Schock serves on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee and joins us now from Peoria. Uh, great to see you, Congressman. Thanks so much. What about if you're going to go along and get the Democrats to go along with these tax, uh, with rather the spending cuts, what about tax increases? Well, Andrea, uh, thank you for uh, having a conversation about this very important issue. I think what's most important about the 50-page report that has just come out by the two chairmen of this committee is that it's going to start the very important dialogue that we have to have with our constituents about the realities of our financial situation, both in terms of the out-of-control spending levels as well as the long-term health and sustainability of our entitlement programs. Um, What's important is that uh, this report came out by both the Republican and Democratic chairman, but has not had the full input from uh, the 18 committee members, uh, both Republicans and Democrats. And before this report can come to the floor for a vote, it has to have the support of 14 of the 18 committee members. So, uh, and outside of the two chairmen, none of the other 18 members have come out and endorsed the proposal. So uh, I'm not sure that it's, it's worth time going through all 50 pages and, and really getting getting into the weeds on it, but it, they really highlight a lot of the very, very uh, tough financial uh, situation that our country's in. Uh, and as you, you pointed out, we're going to have to start dealing with the deficit. That's, that's the issue that uh, I think last Tuesday the American people sent in the way of their votes. Well, that clearly was the message, uh, more important than anything else, job creation, anything else is deficit reduction, according to all the exit polls. And you're, you're willing to even consider some of these things. Let's assume, because I think it is a safe assumption, they're not going to get 14 votes for this as a package. But isn't this something that the two parties could sit down, maybe have another you know, budget summit, as they did at Andrews Air Force Base back in 1991? Why can't they take pieces from this, you and your colleagues and the Democrats, and see what you can hash out. Andrea, I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, over the last two years that I've been in Congress, much of what is in this report in terms of uh, cost reduction, I've been proposing. On the Government Oversight Committee that I serve on, I had a bill that I brought forward uh, for a, uh, a, a, uh, a committee, to, a bipartisan committee, to, a st to uh, do away with programs that are deemed uh, duplicative and unnecessary. And there were members of Congress, unfortunately a majority, uh, who voted against my bill simply because they were afraid that that maybe their program or their initiative might be deemed a duplicative and unnecessary. So you're right, we got to have a serious conversation about how are we uh, re realistically going to reduce this deficit. Republican House members in our pledge that we came out with before the election talked about uh, uh, rolling back domestic spending back to 2008 levels, which is very significant. We'll save over a trillion dollars in the next decade. The deficit commission that we're talking about today's report asked that that domestic spending get rolled back to 2008. And 10 levels. So what House Republicans have proposed is actually even more significant. And I think that we're going to get uh, some of our friends on the Democratic side of the aisle who have likewise heard from their constituents over the last election cycle to join us in making those reductions in domestic spending. We have had double digit increases in domestic spending over the last two years, and it's simply not sustainable. Well, uh, states are coming, them... cut, cutting back local. Congressman, I just excuse me, but in, in order to get them to agree to some some measure of spending cuts, will any Republican sign on to tax increases if they revise the tax code as they suggest, lower the rates, get rid of the mortgage tax deduction and all of these other deductions? Is that even something that a Republican that Republicans in the caucus would consider? Well, uh, tax reform is something that uh, Paul Ryan, who's our uh, soon to be chairman of the Budget Committee and the Ways and Means Manager, Dave Camp, who will be the new chairman of Ways and Means, have been talking about. And obviously, uh, when you go to a, a two tax bracket or a, 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 a reduced marginal rate tax bracket, you do away with certain deductions as a result. But again, I think that's a separate discussion because even the President of the United States, even Barack Obama, uh, has agreed uh, or seems to be coming on board with the notion 
mean that we can't raise taxes uh, in, in this critical uh, economic climate. We had 38 House Democrats join with Republicans before the election and say, we believe there needs to be a full extension at the current levels. We don't believe we should be raising taxes on anyone. So to answer your question, uh, no, I don't believe Republicans or Democrats right now are going to be advocating for any tax increases because simply it's not the responsible thing to do in a down economy. But when it comes to tax reform uh, and changing some of the rates and doing away with some of the deductions and making it a cleaner, fair uh, tax system, I think you're going to see some, some bipartisan support. And uh, right now there's no clear club cut plan that's going to get, uh, even, that even the Republicans agree with, uh, let alone getting Democratic members on board. Aaron Schock from Peoria, thanks so much for keeping the conversation going. And we're joined now Good by our political you, strategist.